name is Nadia. Today we are going to make this beautiful pillow from fabric with a simple stripe pattern. We will turn this boring looking pattern into custom design pillow and I will show you how to do this. Ok, let's start. First we will prepare a template. The pillow can be any size and any rectangular shape. It can be square, rectangular, large, small, any. We will make square 16 by 16 inches pillow. I have prepared a square template from paper. The template is 18 by 18 inches because we need to add 2 inches to the pillow size for seams allowance. I also draw the diagonals. Now we need to cut out one the these triangles. I prepared it in advance and this triangle is a template for our pillow from stripe fabric now we need to cut out all elements for our pillow let's determine the picture design we want to see on the pillow i want to see this stripe along the edge of the pillow and in the center i want to see square therefore i put the template over this stripe and cut out triangle. We need to cut eight of them. Now we will sew these pieces together. We are going to turn stripe pattern into square with the stripes. And to make our square look beautiful, we have to make sure that all the stripes of both triangles are perfectly aligned. And the second important condition is all seams on this pillow must be made exactly at the same distance from the edge. For that, I am using this magnetic guide. It makes it much easier to do this, for sure. I just stick it to the machine and I'll be guided by it. If you serve a machine made of plastic and magnet guide will not stick to it, you can use a foot with adjustable guide. The distance from the edge of triangles to the seams can be little bit smaller or wider, but it must be equal all around. It should be at the same distance from the edge everywhere. Very carefully aligning lines of both triangles and serve them together uniformly. If you need to get magnetic guide or foot with adjustable guide for household sewing machine, you can buy them from our link below in the description. I will appreciate your help to make videos like this for you. And uh, please feel free to ask questions or leave your comments. Perfect. All the lines are precisely matched. And we are going to have a beautiful picture of square. Similarly, so the remaining pieces. Now we need to smooth out all the seams with iron. And we can finish our squares by sewing these triangles together. I will follow same rules, very carefully aligning lines of both triangles and sew them together uniformly all around. Now we got a picture of square stripes or something like that. Once again I will iron these seams and we are ready to complete our pillow. Now we will sew both squares together 
and finish our pillow project. I will start from one of the corners. Place squares face to face, carefully align seams in the corners and sew entire pillow at the same distance from the edge. I will stop here and leave open space big enough to fill pillow with a filler and finish seam at the corner. Here I left an open spot so we can put inside pillow in short or filler later. We have to turn our pillow right side out. This is easy to do if you hold a corner by fingers like this, tuck it up and align like that. And now hold it here from two sides. Push it with the fingers and turn out. And we have good even corner. Do the same way all other corners. Now I will fill the pillow with a polyfiber filler. I will close the opening with the pins. And we can finish our project by sewing up the open part. Everything looks perfect and pillow is looking very elegant. We can leave pillow like this and call it finished. But to make it even more appealing, we can add some decorative elements. We can add beautiful decorative button, for example, this one or this one. The pillow will look more interesting. I covered button form with this material. Here it is brown. And now I will sew them on. I will use this long needle that will make my job easier and a thick thread. First, we just need to poke a pillow. With this long needle, it is very easy to do. And from this side, thread and buttons through the eyelet. Now in the other direction. Now we just need to tie a knot. We can tie buttons more or less. It depends on what look you prefer. I will release a little bit to make my pillow look fluffier, fuller and more relaxed. And I recommend to make three knots and cut the threads. The thread should not be cut off just under the knot. We need to leave there a small tails. Then the knots will not untie and the button will hold tight. That turned out to be a beautiful pillow. Here is the seam that I sew by hands. It is not visible. And pillow is done. I hope you liked my video. Please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more videos like this one. 
Also, if you are looking to buy sewing accessories, supplies, tools, machines, please buy them from our affiliated links below in descriptions. It will not cost you a penny more, and I will greatly appreciate your help in making these videos. Let me know what would you like to see in the next videos. Subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and uh, click that notification bell. I will see you soon. Be well.